this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Caves and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets, and our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrish, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. This is Comics Illustrator Ron Friends, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. Hello. <laughs> and welcome back to another week of the Capes and Lunatics. I don't know what that was addition. All right. <sighs> okay. The, the, no, go ahead, Charlie. Dance. Introduce anyway, I am Phil. And that yeah. man dancing on the pool. I am Charlie, that man. Professor Esser. Bam! I'm not waiting anymore, Phil. We got stuff to discuss. That man Going dancing to, on the pool that in Jersey. Lady up there. That pool dancer in Jersey. Yes. <laughs> and that's right. Coming to you, Sasha. <laughs> Silent and deadly like the ninja. It is. Hey, y'all. It's a little hell fire. I don't know what's going on. I was late. I don't know what's going on. Hey, oh. <laughs> you show me a pole. I will dance on it. Hey, oh. <laughs> Why did the music have to be played over that? <laughs> oh. Here, I'll give you a clean one. Ready? Mm-hmm. Show me a pole and I'll dance on it. I guarantee you that'll be Philip. the most. Just shut I, up. <laughs> I guarantee you that'll be the most requested drop on the uh, third best Southgate show by the host himself. <laughs> All right, so I'm, before we get to, uh, you know, here's what I'll tell you, Phil. Tell me, tell me. Are you frozen? Tell me. Yeah, I had to reset my router. That's why I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't be afraid, Charlie Esser. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Take it off. Check the Wi-Fi. Oh, here we are. We're back. We're back. Oh, you vault. We're back. <laughs> Not the Wi-Fi Dillard, is a mess. What the, the Jersey Devils, man. Did you, did, you get, did you get the drop there? I did get the drop, and then you kind of you're like, let me tell you, and then you just like. No, no. my my. Okay, so here's the drop for you. No, no, did you get the Born Naked drop? The what? What? No, get off of it entirely, because something's causing problems. No, get off it, because it's still connecting to the Wi-Fi for some reason. Uh, Apparently, because the (sighs) Wi-Fi... Yeah, I don't know. Tristan's... I'm trying to make a historic drop. I'm trying to create a historic drop. Boy, get off the internet. See, so the drop was I was born naked, but I guess you never heard it, so that's fine. No, there you go. Now we heard it. Uh, Breaking news, kids. Charlie Esmond well, was born gonna, naked. Well, the idea is, is is you have that you have that dramatic pause, and I was born naked. Okay, Tristan's doing Before. something now. Tristan, can you please get off your internet, right? Just, no, just put it away. Right now, it's not the time. I don't want you doing it while I'm doing my podcast, okay? I thought it wouldn't work, cause a problem, but it's causing problems, so. I'm serious, yes. That's why, that's why Lilith doesn't I don't know, like but these. right now, I'm not having problems and you're off of it, so we'll call that a day. That's why Lilith doesn't let those dogs play uh, PlayStation while she's on. <laughs> You know, it's just it's it's the VR. The VR takes up a lot of. It takes it. up a lot. Yeah, oh, it does. Yeah. And he says he's off the Wi-Fi, but I don't know. Does he know when he's off the Wi-Fi? It shows you. He should know. <laughs> it has no. zero bars. You're saying. Yes. Okay, so tell you what, you can do it if you can do it in the hall over there. <laughs> don't do it in front of the TV. Do it in the hall. I don't think that's how. And that you works. have the distance, and you can play it. Okay. Anyway, so that's Stand my family. How sure? Oh, good, good, good. Ah, uh, all right. So, 
before we get to our strange new Star Trek Strange New Worlds Episode 3 review, we're going to talk. Oh, there was an update because last night Loaf and I talked about this on The Devil You Know, The Devil Podcast that, uh, yes, Disney Plus announced that uh, we are getting a new Daredevil series. And I guess, is this, is it, it's not a rumor. This is true, isn't it? They were saying today it's going to be a continuation, not a reboot. Yeah. No, it's, that's obviously a continuation. Of course. Why are they going to. They're not going to throw out canon unless, the, dude, that we Anson to... dude was that Anson dude was in Multiverse of Madness. They're not tossing any canon. Big Nose Krasinski is going to be our Reed Richards. We just oh. have to accept it. Really? We have to at this point. We have to at this. How point. dare you shame? How dare you shame the uh, nasally challenged? How dare you? Oh what? No, he knows he has a big nose. There, there's no this. That there's Charlie no shame in it. Hold on, wait, no shame in having a big nose. The man has we a love big you, Mr. Kaczynski. Please come on our show with your lovely wife. Yes. Tell me more He's about uh, the, qui- you know the Quiet what? Place. You. The Quiet <laughs> Place Three. You know what? The first thing Mr. Krasinski is going to tell us is that yes, I have a. That is Krasinski. <laughs> Whatever. Is that. After that, whatever his name is, whatever this guy who was on the offices thing is, that guy who messed with Dwight, that guy. You know what's funny? Exactly, Randall Park was on the office. Yes, yes, the, 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 the greatest prank of all time. Yeah, Dwight comes in one day, and yeah, Randall Park's sitting there. He's a friend of Jim and Pam's, and like an actor friend. And he's like, "It's me, Dwight Jim." He's like, "No, you're never <laughs> Asian." He's like, "Yeah, I've been Asian the whole time." I don't know if Lil Sarah yet, but they're rewind. No, but yeah. I'm not there yet. I'm almost oh there. Oh my gosh. What, what season it's is the, it? It's, ah, I forget which one, but it's, it's just a quick open in the beginning of, the, of an episode. Yeah, but it's funny. Because <laughs> they would change the picture on his desk. You know, Pam sitting there with him and the, the guy and the kid. <laughs> Toy's like, what? Five games right now. No, just none of them. All right, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, we're getting a Daredevil continuation. Well, we and Lilith were saying last night we knew we knew they were going to do Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio. We just didn't know if they were going to throw everything else out, but I guess not. Just Tristan, put it all away, please. Just hey. everything, put it away. We're watching TV now. Turn everything off. Go to bed. Well, because every time you turn something on, it causes a problem. No, I told, and it's causing a problem. Put it freaking away now. Nah. Use the F word. Oh my. All right, so. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How have you been? All right. Yes. No, every time my child turns something on, everything stops. And I'm telling him he can't turn things on right now because we're in the middle of a podcast. He had all freaking day to play every game he wanted to. Now it's daddy's time. Children know everything. Don't you know that? <sighs> he says he was going to use the wireless controller, but it's never wireless. It's wired to my Wi-Fi. <laughs> Just blew to Charlie Jeez. <laughs> Look, waves upon waves. Your magic, Lilith. You know whatever, whatever Odin's son wrote down. Here, on the here. Thing. You know what? We'll we'll test the theory. Let let's 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 vindicate Tristan. I'll pull out my Oculus. Hey, well. oh, oh, well, you see. have a wired connection. I, like, yeah, that is true. Clear. Our biggest problem right now is that we have this internet connection through through the phone company. They're a hockey puck. Which is a cellular company. And the big thing is, he said that there wasn't enough space in the hallway to do it. He needs the larger space in the living room. But, you know. And that may be true. I don't know. I don't know. This is all, these are my problems. These are not your people's problems. Okay. And no one wants to hear about my problems. Philip, what are we talking about tonight? Well, we were, well before we get to the Star Trek, we we're talking about the Daredevil. So you two know more than I do. It's like, so when do you think we will see a Daredevil season four? Oh, probably twenty. Phase five, beginning oh. of phase five. Oh, really? Yeah, probably, probably summer. Yeah, I'd say summer, maybe spring if we're lucky. 
what? Actually, it doesn't take that long to do a TV show. If they if they're already saying they're doing it, they're probably going to start production right away. So we might we might get it. In they're January. probably using Netflix's old scripts for all we know. <laughs> probably. I mean, you know, not for nothing. It's you know, interestingly enough, because um, like the original creators, like of the first few seasons, said that yeah, it's a great deal. And like the only people who haven't chimed in yet might be the later, uh, resp- the later people who worked on it, and it may be because they're under contract, so they can't talk yet. Um, you know, it's it's pretty interesting. You know, I mean, but we knew what was going to happen. Here's the thing. Here's here's what I'm going to tell you right now. When we get to Secret Invasion, you are mark my words. You are going to see Agents of Shield in Secret of Eight Invasion. You are oh going to see Phil. Yeah. Oh my it's god! It's all coming they, back. They use the multiverse to clean up the the Inhumans problem. They're going to use Secret Invasion. The guy we knew as Iron Fist is a was a scroll. Maybe. Maybe or a horny Doombot. I don't know. We'll see. Something. Something. We got multiverse. We got. You know, we're gonna have scrolls. You know. You're gonna have a lot of stuff, but here's the thing: I don't think they're gonna recast anybody. I think I I think they're gonna bring the same actor back, but they'll say, "Well, that was a scroll, and now here's the actual actor, but we wrote him a here's, better script." Here's a script. Get your ass to the gym. Learn some yeah. martial arts. Yes. Do the job you are hired for. They're going to send have you. To, we will freaking Edward Norton you. They're going to send them to the Disney gym. Yes. <laughs> they have it on. The, it's 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 on retainer. You know that's the thing. It's well, on that, retainer. That's like it, automatically it, in your dis. Well, in your Marvel Disney contract, I believe. Like, there's no we'll like have. Netflix didn't think. Oh, so he a guy doesn't want to look like an asshole and not work out and no martial arts in his own show. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> would ever <laughs> think that. It's, oh, you know, oh, not everyone is that guy from, uh, Harold and Kumar go to uh, White Castle, you know, I mean I mean, embarrassing Hey, 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 hey those, those <laughs> Disney contracts, it says that Disney contract, it says you will have this many abs you will have this amount of body fat uh, I would not freaking doubt it I mean, pay you this amount of money extent, sure. Hey, hey, they whipped you Chris know, Pratt well, in the yeah, shape, they can no, do it. What they do is they well, what they do is they hire people. Well, he wasn't in like Thor or Chris Evans shape. Let's not get let's not no, get I know, crazy. I know. No, I know. Let's, let's not get crazy. Guardians one. Guardians one. They shot him very nicely. Um, what I'm going to tell you is, is they hire people that want a job. And if you want a job where you get paid a lot of money Hey-o. to go to the gym and then do a play with your friends. Well, he has no that, friends, that's but yeah. Good job. Wow. You know, I mean, he was very difficult. It's a known thing. Who is like freaking poor Mike Coulter? <laughs> like, who, the, who the Iron Fist guy? Yeah, the Iron Fist guy was very oh, hard to well, work yeah, with. Well, yeah, he was difficult, and maybe that's why. Maybe that's and here's what I'm going to tell you: they're not going to say that guy was a scroll. They're just going to Edward Norton him because Edward Norton was difficult. Do we you even know, say, He do had a vision and they weren't on board. Look, listen, I don't uh, like that word difficult in Hollywood because that can mean a lot of things. Wait, we, do we even need to bring him back? Do, do we even need to bring him back or address him? Colleen Wing had the Iron Fist last I knew. Exactly. I, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, they can do it that way, too. That's the thing. It's It's a different story. It's not the same story you think it was. It's a new story because we have to make you... Interested. None of them were very good, so whatever. <laughs> it can only yeah, go up and, from here. And to be fair, Colleen Wing Hello. doesn't really have the Iron Fist. She uh-huh. has a dark hole kind of second-hand Iron Fist, which is probably what freaking the scroll uh, Iron Fist had. You know, if you really want to <laughs> call a shelter, you have an entrenching tool. Since he was a scroll, they couldn't have the real Iron Fist from plunging his fist into the molten heart of the uh, dragon. Colleen Wing has the real Iron Fist. You will not convince me otherwise. Mark my words. Okay. Fair enough. And that may be true, too. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all an open book because they haven't written it yet. Because that's how comic books work, and that's how comic book movies work. They're making it up as they go along. 
We need the money. There is no grand long plan for the universe. Are you kidding me? They're word they're they're writing the draft on uh, phase seven already. Come on. Well, they're discussing it. The fact of the matter well, is, is well, that... Well, again, they can't really get ahead of themselves because as much as they push Brie Larson, she is not the face of Phase 4. It is Elizabeth Olsen. <laughs> so... Well, truth, truth to be truth. It, Elizabeth it, it, Olsen is coming back. We all know that. It, it's it's pretty They're sad. It's pretty that. sad when, she, when she's greater than Brie Larson and she's been, like, villainous for, the, like, the last two things she's been in. <laughs> People love villains, Phil. I know. Has I DC know. taught you nothing? You're so it's sorry only... for the DC universe. <laughs> no, the point is that no one cares about Batman or Superman. <gasps> they care about the Joker and Lex Luthor and Batman. Bane and the Mad Hatter and Brainiac. There, I, I Did you say Mad Hatter? The, the views Mad of Hatter. the professor do Mad not Hatter. reflect the views of Capes and Lunatics. He is an independent contractor. <laughs> Rogue, <laughs> loose cannon, Charlie yes, Esser. I am sorry. DC. We have a Batman podcast, Charlie. Yeah. We have and a whole speed about, about the DC stuff. Are you gonna tell me it's not about it's the villains? It's not. It's really not. It's more about Gotham as uh, the city as a character. Okay. To be honest, wild card, Charlie Esser. Gotham is the villain. Gotham is the victim. <laughs> The victim of Bruce Wayne <gasps> and his Lilith. legacy. Lilith, is she is he saying the Goth victim and the villain? That Lilith. can happen. Is he saying That's Gotham not called internal to cyclical toxicity? You know who's the real villain? It's OSHA. Because they never come to Gotham. <laughs> he's, say, he's, so he's, saying, he's, he's saying Gotham asked for it. It must have been dressed slutty. <gasps> That's what saying. Me. I know. <laughs> That's that Charlie Usser. No, I'm saying that at a certain point. Victimhood doesn't make dessert, you know, it doesn't excuse you from other atrocious acts. I'm we just saying it, that cycles of abuse occur. <laughs> and the abuse that created Gotham created its villains. As well uh, as its heroes. Speaking of creating villains, let's get over to Star Trek Strange New Worlds, episode three. <laughs> yes. Oh, got a, got yeah. a, uh, you know what's great about this? The Federation, uh, look, they are going full out with the Federation was the villain the whole time. They really are. They're, they're, they're doing it. They're what? making no bones about it. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're doing Discovery, but with a way that people might like it. Um, are you oh! doing a lead in a hot blonde? I, okay. I was, I was saying, uh, well, actually, I meant to say Enterprise. Because Enterprise was No, like, no, no like, time wars. Please, for the love of God, no time cops. Please. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. They're always coming. You know they're coming. coming. You really do. There's always time cops. No holodeck simulations. <laughs> Computer. Hashtag still bitter. Um, no, so what makes me super happy about this episode is they have canonized what uh, DC Fontana created in Vulcan's glory, which was this idea that um, the reason she's number one is she was she was considered the best of the Illyrian race, which is a race of beings that genetically engineer themselves. And they get left to die and shot off into a raft in space. No. No, that's what humans do to genetically engineered people. Human. That's the thing. That, see, humans are awful. Are the worst. Illyrians are a different race entirely. And they adapt themselves to whatever environment they're going to come to. So as soon as they come to a new world, say, no. well, this is an interesting world. How will we adapt ourselves to it? So effectively, they have taken evolution to that next step so that they can populate unhabitable worlds by building Strange out traits in themselves genetically that l allows them to survive. But because the Federation is so racist, yep. which is the theme of tonight's episode, they wouldn't let the Illurians join. So one group of Illurians decided, well, we will de-evolve de ourselves so that we can be a part of the Federation. Because we recognize the value of being in the community. <laughs> And, and it's like, man, that is just sad when you think about it. And it's, eh, it's rough. 
all around it's rough. I, I, I'm just going to tell you. And, you know, the nice bit with... Uh, with uh, everybody uh, on that ship's a rogue. The doctor, number like everybody's a rogue. And yeah, like, I look, listen, I'll tell you the same thing about fire. Like I get why people don't like Firefly. You can't have a ship full of Han Solos. You can't have a ship full of them. Okay, <laughs> Han Solo's know? gotta be Han Solo and nobody else. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a kid. I got a kid stored in the pattern buffer. <laughs> and now we got a virus. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I mean, right. oh my god! But I love, I love the best thing. Yahora is just like Lil. She has to sleep in complete darkness. Oh, you know what's annoying to me about that is that when Careful, uh, number snakes. one goes into, it's not dark. We can clearly well, they, see. Well, no, they said that there's the, there's that little door there they can pull closed. Yeah, I know. Well, but it can't, then we it see can't it. be dark for TV, but it could be. It could be. It's yeah, not the vibes, it. Charlie. Those are not the vibes. Those are not the aesthetics they're going for. They give you just enough. <laughs> the le- the rest pay- is left we- to your imagination. We pay for a Rebecca Romaine. We want to see a Rebecca Romaine, right? <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> exactly. Fair enough. Fair enough. We get their money's worth. <laughs> But no, yeah, it was good. The whole light virus, and like, yeah, we get, get to learn more about the doctor. Whose daughter is so in. is I'm to understand that the Illyrians became plasma creatures at the end. Yeah, it's... yeah, I, I get. Yeah, they. I guess the what they ran out into the storms and yeah, they. Yeah, they became the. So those, maybe that's the origin of the queue. I don't know. <sighs> um. Shut your filthy mouth, Charlie. <laughs> the queue are awesome. Why do we have they to have more? What do you have to have? Yeah, no origin, origin for, the for the key. It's like Joker. We can't have an origin for them. They were, it they, were like always, they, they were always here. They die out. They will always million, be. And they always die after they die after like a million years. Well, the thing is about the Q. And here's a th- here's they, what's they, weird about the Q is they, that they hug the people they, they tormented for that, decades. Oh, that's where I can't see further. Like effectively, they should be like Doctor Manhattan, where they In know blue oh, this is where. I knew she was going there. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. I haven't seen uh, John Delancey naked. They haven't done that episode yet. But I oh, will, I can't I will, say. I can't say. Wow! I can't say that story. <laughs> Friend I will Fred, say. Out of con. I can't say the story, but <laughs> I will say my my own opinion. I would imagine. It well, is it is real and it is magnificent. And, <laughs> spectacular. And, <laughs> it's real and it's spectacular. <laughs> whatever the quote. Mark your bingo cards, kids. <laughs> yeah, really? you gotta do your you gotta do your Seinfeld reference. But anyway. Come on, Will, give me a headline. Was... Give me some. No, 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 it's not my story to tell at all. <laughs> what I will say is this was nice because it really shows how much they understand the expanse of canon, how much that is important. Now, if they could just make those books canon, we'll be all set. <laughs> this makes books canon. That's the thing. Look, not every book can be canon because some books are contradictory. At a Star Trek contradictory? Say, what are you talking about? It's like... It's Star worse Trek than Star Wars! <laughs> they well, need... Yeah, because... Oh. Yeah. It's like the existence of Dreadnought class. They need a consultant um, to make all the books canon, and I volunteer LeVar Burton. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you putting that poor, poor child in there? Yeah, there are some books that are quite about? terrible. Quite terrible. Oh, since well, we're no, on our Star mean, Trek kick. Well, to, I, to be fair, there's probably a person whose job it is to say what can and cannot be canon, and they probably have read all the books, including the bad ones, but this was written by D.C. Fontaine. Fontana, who is a good writer, and is honestly one of the one of the original writers of Star Star Trek, and so when when she says that you can <gasps> that this is who number one is, then they make number one. What is that? This is my per- I'm getting the pi- I just ordered the pipe one. Card? I okay. Hey, this is I the compl- collector series. Hey. Yeah. Hey, I, I found a box of my old stuff I had, like, packed away, like, I don't know, like, 10, 15 years ago. I completely forgot I had this. 
Noise! First contact! First contact, Picard, still in the package. Oh, but this one is still in the package, too. Got me a little hey, Odo. Oh! Oh, no, Odo! That's nice. Odo's my favorite character. I don't know if you know that. Well, next to Cisco, he's my favorite character. Yeah. I mean, that was really the best series was DS9. I think flying around on a ship, yeah. <laughs> Politics, war, intrigue, time travel, best mirror universe. I don't know yeah. how some people don't like DS9. I really don't. Uh, well, you know, it also had, like, the freaking... Freaking, um... Although the religious no, overtones, I, I get it. I do. There we go. Maybe the Illyrians became the wormhole entities. If you want to be Ooh, I like that. I'll take that there as my go. headcanon. I mean, you know, I mean, that's the thing. It's like there are so many god-level races in the Star Trek universe. It's like any of them could be that, you know? You got Apollo. You got the freak, the the people that were just completely nonviolent, and then one day said, "You know what? None of you people can touch weapons anymore. Anything that can I cause harm, not. it's now too hot to touch." So. <laughs> Thank you, Mister Will. <laughs> I, I love not. those guys. It's like, yeah, we we can really do whatever we wanted, and you people coming to our planet was a very weird thing for us. We're not cool with it, but you know, go away. Um, As master do. And then you, and then of course you have the um, Squire Gathos, who was fun. Oh. Squire. Oh, there was that guy on Next Gen. What was? What season was that? That was like in one of the early seasons. You know, when it looked like him and the wife were just living on that planet when the rest of the planet got destroyed. Oh yeah, and it was, it was a horny Doombot. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 he was just like he's like yeah, I killed the invaders, and they, they they're like oh, okay. He's like no, no, you don't understand. I killed their entire race. You know, I killed that wherever they were in the universe. I just killed the entire species. Yeah, that's. I think that's mm-hmm. season three. Yeah. See, that's the problem with godlike entities. It's like like just leave them alone. Let them be. He's like, bro, just, I gave you a chance. Hey, now yeah, you're that's why you shouldn't be a conquering Don't alien poke the race. bear. Well, no, he was he was living as you a human with this wife. He, was, he was living with this as a human with this wife. He had friends. He had this wife on this colony. They all got wiped out. And in his he said, you know, it was like a moment of anger. He just you know lost control and just wow, destroyed a whole race. Yeah. Well, you know what's what's his name? Um, Zephyrin Cochran wound up uh, marrying an uh, omnipotent uh, being too. You know, as you, you do. Know, yeah, as you do. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, ah. married a, a sentient gas cloud. And it's like, hey, you know man, what? It's don't rough. judge. Don't hey. judge if hey. you love a sentient gas cloud. It's rough, man, when tra- time travelers from the 24th century come back and tell you, oh, yeah, you're this space flight you're about to take, you know. <laughs> and, you know. And then they don't even let you take it. Not without them. <laughs> and that is Basically. the one thing I do love about Enterprise. They do show that picture. <laughs> Like, oh, you remembered. Yeah, Jonathan. Although Frakes. the movie shouldn't be canon. Hashtag fight me. Yeah, Jonathan Frakes rubbing his Jonathan Frakes all over that show. Is yeah. That, is that quite He directed, he wrote. Like, yeah, he, he rubbed his. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right there. Everyone, you know, it's just. See, that's why they have time cops in the future. Because they realized, oh my gosh, we have screwed up. Janeway oh. alone, first of all. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Janeway, they got she's her picture that they're post office. I was gonna say, there's just a handful of Voyager episodes where they're like, oh, that Janeway just, you know, just f's with the timeline. Oh, hey, don't even. She 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 don't get her morning coffee. She's she's effing that timeline by lunch. Yeah. Cue hey, the text hey, her what, hashtag what, what, change what? my mind. He's like, you're, you're gonna, gonna leave Janeway alone. Nine. On DS9, uh, they actually made a whole point about the size of the file on James T. Kirk. And they don't have files in the future, man. <laughs> That's just how many freaking flash drives they have. It's like, no, man. I mean, literally, we have a we have a device that can hold 8 billion gajillion kilojoules of information. If he yeah. was on a mission, but, he was violating the Prime Directive. And here's all the ones on James T. Kirk. You know? That man is Prime Directive. Well, we're learning where he gets it from. We're learning where he gets it from. Love the timeline. Oh, yeah. 
I think forget anyway. the, forget the Kobayashi Maru. I think that's the uh, test that uh, Starfleet uh, Academy is just like, hey, are you willing to f with the timeline? Okay, you can be captain. <laughs> you gotta be. You be mustn't no be afraid killer. to dream bigger, darling. Ah. <laughs> uh. At least no, I, I can't believe how much I like it. I didn't think I was gonna like like a throwback Star Trek feel like at all. Yeah, like, I just I thought I was past it. But if we could just get Deep Space Nine back into like, <laughs> can we just get a Cisco like we got a Picard? And I think I'll be. I'm awesome telling you, do like a Picard like series, but instead just fill it with cast members from like DS Nine, Voyager, and you know. I mean, Odo's already sweet. Renee is already passed away. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I know. Time's ticking, people. <laughs> Do, do something with all these actors before more of them pass away. Yeah. Well, I oh, mean, yeah, Nog's okay, gone. Yeah, right, so yeah, yeah, a lot of them are yeah. gone, actually. Do you know, so saying. have you seen the actor who played Jake Sisko? No, I haven't Googled him in a while. No, Charlie. Yeah, like uh, you, uh, you mean Tony Todd? <laughs> well, pretty man himself, baby. <laughs> Sirach Lofton looks exactly like freaking Sisko now. As an adult. And that's what you call grade A casting. I mean, honestly, yes. He looks like, you, you look at him now and he could absolutely, he's even got the shaved head because he had the male head involved in this too. That's the, uh, it looks like him. Can he read the lines? Okay, he's in. Well, no, he can read lines. You know, he, he, oh, yeah, no, he's a good actor. No, He's a good actor, so I'm just saying you could bring character. him back. I would love to see him showing up in future things as a reporter. Yes! You know. Is it? Yeah, no, my dad's a god too. Yeah, exactly. I'd love to see him like meet rest Wesley Crusher and met. Wesley he does Crusher. have a little a little brother to take care of, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I would love to. I would love to see, um, uh, uh, Jake Sisko meet Wesley Crusher, and uh, tell him Jake to shut Sisko's, up, Wesley. <laughs> yeah, and and Wesley Crusher. I'm a like, traveler, oh, damn. <laughs> I was like, yeah, 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 no, my dad's a god too. Um, so anyway, about you're this, not that special. <laughs> and to be fair, he's not. It's like they're like, yeah, we I all know. know Picard's your dad, bro. Whoa, <laughs> that's the I'm story he's writing. I'm not, I'm not gonna cause the problems with that. Are you, you know? What are you saying, Lil? Doctor Crusher got that hypo spray. <laughs> look, someone, look. We all know it. We just don't talk about. it. You know what I'm gonna say? You know, it's like it's like talking. Oh, what, what do you think Picard killed? What do you think Picard killed Jack it's Crusher? It's for me to judge the situation. <laughs> he is a Frenchman with a with a violent history. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, you know, it's entirely possible it was all cool, and then that aromatic all figure. happened, and then he feels all this guilt and stuff, and he doesn't want to complicate the relationship. Because that could be a whole thing, too. It's like, oh, man, it's not like I wanted him to die. You know, that was just freaking a key party. I'm not going to kill you, but... Oh! I'm not going to kill you, but I'm not going to save you. <laughs> no, I mean, for real. It could be like, you know... What are you saying? No, I mean, that's power? what a key party is. It's all consensual. We're all going in. We know we're going to throw it in. We're all going to have fun. <laughs> We're and if throw it in? jump from it, well, then you know what? We all raise it because that's that's just the fun of a key party. Unless you're Picard, <laughs> then you jump on a ship and get the hell out of Dodge, and then you're like, I thought I told you don't ascend her to my ship. No, it's it's just, it's not. See, this Why nothing. do you think she left this see, season two? You're putting your freaking 20th century morals on a 23rd century story where that's perfectly acceptable. And it's like, no, we were all good friends. It was all cool. And then, unfortunately, he died under my command, and I really feel guilty. And now I got to deal with this on top of my own freaking guilt for my mother's freaking suicide. And it's all a lot for me to deal with, Bev. <laughs> Understand that. It's a lot for me to deal with. I don't think those are tangible. <laughs> No, those are plasma creatures, though. Plasma creatures. Ah, uh, I get it. Oh, I get it. But they were tentacular. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm thirsty for it, bro. Yeah, but yeah, like I, I, I can see this being a. I can see everybody cosplaying as a, as all these people now. This come this Halloween. <laughs> I feel like Ruby. Uh, what is that? Hollywood. What? What is that? Spirit. Spirit Halloween's oh, gonna Spirit be Halloween, all sold out. Yeah. Several, yeah, but Spirit Halloween's 
There's going to be a horror film based on the spirit of Halloween, the store. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it I think sets I did. up in the corpses of your childhood stores like Toys R Us and Circuit City? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't the know. Worst. They they, they, throw, they they throw clickbait uh, headlines up to me all the time on... Uh, <laughs> You scary. gotta watch porn to throw right. the algorithm off. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. If you want an un- untraceable freaking, if you want no ads on your Facebook, Instagram, scroll porn at least two hours a day. That's right, kids. It. The only the, the only reason Lilf watches porn is for the untraceability. I swear. <laughs> Charlie's like, I can have no knowledge of this. I'm a married man. That's true for guns and penises. <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> While well, well, he's off camera. Everyone loves cocaine. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I like weed. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Living on Tegrity Farms down there. If Colorado liked black people, I would be there. <laughs> you wouldn't go there. Come on. You know my I don't want to be token. Well, I, I don't, say, I don't even like JRR stories. Well, I was going to say, you know how much snow they get in the winter, too? Yeah. Trust me, I've driven through there a couple of times. It's awful. Uh, <laughs> Living at that high elevation, it's awful. <laughs> it's awful. Oh, my Lord. What did he do? Go and get down on that Oculus? <laughs> Give it to me! <laughs> He's floating from his cold day. <laughs> Oh, good lord. That's why I I kind of wish they dropped the whole season, honestly. Like, I can't do this. I, I can't go back to this once a week garbage. I don't even watch regular TV anymore. Now streaming's not streaming anymore. It's just sitting away. Well, well, I think that I think they all those streamers have learned. I mean, except maybe Netflix. They've all learned the game now. It's like, yeah, you got to put it out once a week so people just, just don't binge into one weekend and cancel and then sign back up when there's something else they want to watch. They're like, oh, no, we're going to make it, you over. I, I I don't know. Paramount Plus has a lot of... Actually, now it has a lot of good stuff now that it's consolidated. It's not just CBS yeah. Access. Like, I watch Evil on there. They have all the good fight shows. Um, they have, like, Rocky Mountain uh, College. You know, the one that uh, Stephen Amell was on. They have a lot of stuff. Yeah, but it's is it weekly or... I mean, just their back catalog is a lot better now, is my point. Plus, you uh, got, you know, the South Park specials, stuff yeah. like that. Oh yeah, this is ten. This season's ten episodes. So yep, got seven more weeks. <laughs> Ugh, we can make it through the summer, I guess. I mean, hey, I mean, it, it, since they took another break, I mean, Superman and Lois and Flash aren't gonna. Uh, their season. They're finale. not gonna have like, their. Penul- they're not gonna have their season finale in May. June. I think they're both in June. Oh my God, that's sacrilegious, bro. I know. You saying. can't be like, oh, the world's ending must be May. Like, what the uh, hell? We're breaking tradition all over the place. I don't I like know. this. I, I don't, don't and, like this. And I don't know if Charlie Esser heard. Charlie, the Star Girl's not going to be in the summer. They're saving it for the fall. So, because what? They definitely Why would they need do it. that? They, they desperately be, need views well, for the fall. Yeah, and, and Flash and Superman aren't even coming for November back. November sweeps and stuff. Wait, so what's yeah. summer? And, and, Summer's garbage. Nothing, bro. Well, <laughs> like I was just telling Lil, Superman and Flash aren't even uh, their their finales aren't until. Well, June, then couldn't so. they have at least given like a like a, a short wrap it all up, kids? Uh, what do you call it? Um, what episode of Naomi? <laughs> no, the TV Naomi. News. No, uh, freaking legends. Yeah, it's like bring in your bring in your your thing. That's up to your, the Flash's writers now. <laughs> It's like, like, <laughs> oh, so, like yeah. dude, here's six episodes. Carry us through the summer. Give us some some kind. Like honestly, okay. the ratings were terrible. It wouldn't even make financial sense to do that. Unfortunately. Well, then do a Riverdale summer summer middle part. I don't know. Riverdale's no, baby, no. Shh. Oh my! As an RG fan, you know what? Give a six season uh, thing for Sabrina. Oh my there god. You go. Lil- yes. Lilith, that's the correct answer. Lilith, the finale of Flash, June 29th. F you, man. F <laughs> you. Ain't no hey, way, bro. Hey, I'm on buddy. vacation. June, uh, I don't know. I would have. You know what I would have done? Here's what I would have done. I would have done a mid season replacement of The Shield. Get some Archie in there, bring in some superhero. Uh, I thought you were talking about uh, Chick List. <laughs> Yeah, man. You know, put in the put in the shield. 
Start, you know, you can even start like World War Two Shield. What the heck? Let's let's. let's well, since we're, since we're talking comics. Ah, uh, Lil's know? like, come on, I'm sobering up here. <laughs> hey, Lil, Superman and Lois, their finale is the week before, so June 21st. I don't care. I'm not gonna watch it. Oh my. Yeah. I, I don't. You know, I don't really watch that show. Yeah. Are we getting the comics now? Yeah. Comics Corner. Oh, and since you brought it up, since you brought art, oh, okay, go ahead. Count Crowley. Indie of the week, man. Count Crowley. <laughs> Two of four of the second run. Mr. Crowley. She kills the werewolf. <laughs> Not that Crowley, babe. <laughs> I know. Well, we all mad about Crowley. I, I don't know, man. But uh, so yeah. So for those who don't remember, because it's been a while, uh, she's at the house of. A guy that she went to uh, A be- with, yeah, and her his girlfriend Crystal. Her name is Crystal, and they're addicted to meth. Oh, then they <laughs> the should have called her Tina, technically. So. But if you know, you know. <laughs> this was fun. I got I got yeah, a Walter uh, White. <laughs> I got a printing error in my comic, but I actually think it works cool because it gives it like that streaky thing. <laughs> you have like eighties horror films, so that's kind of cool. Like, I know it's not intentional, but I kind of feel like if that was intentional, that would be absolutely appropriate. Is that Dark Horse? What is that? That is, yeah, the good folks at Dark Horse, oh. one of the best indie comics producers out there. Um, that's why they're called Dark Horse, because they, because uh-huh. those who don't know, the, the term Dark Horse means clip-clop, clip-clop. a independent runner in an election that winds up succeeding. Um... I mean, that could be it, too, but the idea... Because, like, the first Dark Horse candidate who won the presidency was James K. Polk. Um, the K meant nothing! <laughs> Dark Horse. Uh, James K. Polk she, high. Four touchdowns James in a single K. game. Polk, man, like the Polk dots, yeah. We all remember. Uh, basically, they kill it. Um, <laughs> a Mary Little Children reference from nowhere. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute! Did you did you see that? Did you see? I guess they yeah, said it's they're coming out they're, animated, man. Yeah, they're doing a um, revival with the original cast, but it's going to be animated. Yeah, well, because on know, Hulu, let me guess on Hulu. I don't know. I can't remember where, but now. you know, everyone's um, old now, so they're like, "Yeah, we're going to do an animated." Yeah, well, you know, old enough. I mean, there, there, there were people pitching the Married with Grandchildren. Well, King of the Hill can make a comeback after all this time. Why not? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see Bobby Hill as an adult, and like, you know, meanwhile, the, meanwhile, the Simpsons have never left. <laughs> Well, time, and that know? says it all. A sudden yeah. time to be a pimp. <laughs> um, but basically, you're welcome, Ray. Where, where Why Wolf gets killed. Uh, uh, our, our our hero calls the local witch hunter, who's all mad because he's a very sexist guy. Um, like, did you get a man to help you? <laughs> it's like there was a guy there, but he didn't. Did help she turn me. him into a toad at least? No, because she's got to find the mystic books first. Ooh. And she's got the cat that was the old uh, witch hunter's cat. And he's, like, being very helpful. So that's good. I just want to have fun on a broom. They got to find the secret tomes of knowledge that the old Tomes of evil? Had. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it, it works. But we have the, we get, have the, the vampires showing up, that, yeah. pretending to be Hollywood executives. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean that, that. I mean it's not a stretch <laughs> by any yeah. imagination. But basically, you know, she's got to get out of it, and then we get we get a nice little like little uh, grave digger kind of character at the end to to uh, wrap up our horror book, which is nice. She wasn't at the start, but it was nice to have her at the end. I love Count Crowley. Count Crowley is a very good book. You should pick it up from our good folks at Dark Horse. It is a good. Modern a- adaptation of a classic horror book. If you like that art style and you like that style of storytelling, this is a good addition to your pull list. It's a lot of meat. Well, Wait a minute. Thank you. Phil. Yes. I think the season finale of Stranger Worlds might be the week we hit 269. I think that's how that works out. <laughs> oh. Well, d- d- seven weeks, seven weeks. <laughs> I told you, you're a boss that week, so whatever you want to do, little Hellfire, if you want to waste your 69 on that, go ahead. No, I would never. I'm not going to waste my 69 on Star Trek. <laughs> oh, you're not going to re- you're not gonna waste your 69 on Rebecca Romaine. 
Well, <laughs> who are you? What are you talking with Charlie Hunter? <laughs> and Anson, let's face it, he may not, he may not be. Hey, oh, oh no, he's, oh no, he's, he's Anson's got, got some fans. Got people with daddy issues. I don't have daddy issues, so not my type. Oh, but people damn. with daddy issues. <laughs> Since we mentioned Archie comics earlier, I just have to mention Fox Family Values. It's a one shot. Don't get excited. But she just got both covers. Uh, just yeah, it's two variant covers. What is it? They've Fox been doing the one shots lately. The last one that I talked about, I think, was the Shield. So this one is the Fox and his family. So he's got his wife, She Fox, his son, Ghost Fox, and him. He's like doing the Superman thing. He's an investigative journalist, and it's just they're supposed to be anti heroes, but they're just heroes. Yeah. I was a little disappointed. I was a little disappointed. It's so red circle, Phil. Uh, a little less, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, it's Archie Comics. Let's face it. Not but you know, be- Haspel is back. He he was gone for a while. He finally came back to the Archie family. So that's that was nice to see. And I just I'm tired of the one shots. I, I need my regular Archie books back. But you know, it's a start. Yeah. These have been selling pretty good. So I think we're finally getting back on the wagon here and making our way <laughs> down the Oregon Trail, hopefully not getting dysentery. <laughs> you know? Poor Archie comics right now. <laughs> How does Archie make make DC look functional as a... Uh, well, that dude wouldn't have fold up the doors for a while. I'll, I'll give him that. And this is quality. I just It's just not what I wanted from a Fox book. So, yeah. that's all. But it's, it's a pretty solid story, just not what I was looking for. No, no, I understand. I'm just And they have Wade nice. right in the shield, so whenever they actually do get that whole thing off the, oh, nice. the ground, that's gonna be awesome. Nice. I know, I'm just Bing. but I, I guess well, you know, Wade is a is big right. Archie guy, so you know, I feel like Archie's superhero line could be really dominant if they would really commit to it. I think they're so afraid. They need their five. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of like they're, they the, they're the slice of life. They, they they thrive on the slice of life. Like that that's kind of what most people come to RG for. But they have a. I mean, they have Sonic under their brand and everything too. So it's it's really weird that you know with the success of the movie, they haven't really even tried to push those out. They they need, they need a restructuring the, for sure. They need their Kevin. <laughs> Fe- they need their Kevin Feige. Yes, and agree, agree. Any you know what? <laughs> if someone would hire Lil Hellfire to be the Kevin oh, Feige all. of Archie Comics, that would... I mean, it, she wouldn't talk to us anymore, but it would be a good day. It would be but, ju- all Jughead all the time! Yeah, you know what? He's going to tell you... When, Who writes when the comics here, Phil? Shut up! Darkest <laughs> character, that's not a bad thing. It's like, Jughead is awesome. Jughead and, will be the new Batman. <laughs> Jughead already is the new Batman. I don't the know. Ju- the Jug Knight. Oh, my Lord. He's already a time cop, Phil. Exactly. Oh. So just, yeah. just wait great for book, him to great show, book. Just wait for him to show up on Strange New Worlds. It's <laughs> like, all right. I don't know what you guys are doing to the time. No. I, Phil, I just, are you going to blame me? This ain't the Marvel Universe, Indy? kids. We don't allow that here. <laughs> well, I'm just waiting for Lil to take over. So, Jug. Chuck had time couple goes, respect my full time. Damn straight. With the cheeseburger. Oh, cheesy poops. Yeah, I still have an obsession with cheesy poops. All right. There yes, Will Hellfire. I will round out the first round with Indies. King Spawn. <laughs> Number 10. I mean, you can never go wrong with the Spawn book right now, honestly. No. So I know you read this, Lil. What did you think? I mean, is this, what is this? A uh, black, black, white, and blood? What is it? <laughs> Okay, yeah, those were the vibes I was going for, but it's like kind of to be honest, aren't all spawn books kind of like Yeah, no, 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 but I thought we we these were in color before, all of a sudden it's a black, white, and blood. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> they were they they were saving money. <laughs> but again but again, all all the spawn books still only two ninety nine, so Exactly. You know, I sometimes know. you like that it's like a bottle episode for a TV show. You know, sometimes you just gotta cut yeah. costs. So the next couple issues can be big and glorious. Hail. Hail. Can I just say something real quick like here that glorious. really annoyed me this week? Have you ever heard of the Grey Ghost? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, not the Grey Ghost. The Grim Ghost. No. The Grim Ghost is effectively on. Spawn before Spawn. It is literally... Uh, a character that Atlas Atlas Comics, the second Atlas Comics created that was a guy who went to hell 
but the but the, the, Satan said, "You know what? You're so good at killing bad people. Little I'm going to send chip. you back. Abandon the chip. To be my <laughs> to be my knight in the. We world. love Todd McFarley. He would never plagiarize anything. I would love to talk to Todd McFarley. <laughs> yeah, guys, <God>, seriously. <laughs> love those Todd McFarley tweets. You can't say, take out of the box because they fall respect. apart. I lost a lot of respect. When I was watching Fizz Pop recently, and they all were hands abandoned ship. <laughs> <laughs> all hands abandoned ship. And they basically said, "Hey, you know that spawn? No, they didn't say it." Little but fifty eight fifty the escape pod. <laughs> Already there, waiting on you, bud. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm sorry. Did I did I speak words that should not be spoken? Stream your stream st- stream your. You know what you should have a beef with. <laughs> Stream, stream yard uh, begin, begin auto self You know, I really do hate when people, when big creators take from little creators. I really do hate that. So I get where you're going with that, Charlie. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not calling. Look, all of comedy. I'll call it CBR. At least, <laughs> at least donate to the damn Patreon. Look, I'll do it if you're okay, gonna say. You know, I'll say it. I want to, I want to actually, I want to address this. I'm just gonna say. The entire reason we do these episodes is to awaken the younger uh, people to art that they may have missed. That well, listen, go crazy. hey! I was listening to a great podcast that inspired me to do a little research. I was exactly. listening to this little. I was listening to this little show called Super Connectivity, and I heard and I got reminded about this Hulk thing story. That's all it's we ask. One line. It's, if TikTok you know can do it in thirty seconds, if a TikToker can do it in thirty seconds, a major. A uh, website can do it. That's all I'm saying. Don't take food off Charlie Esser's plate, is, CBR. He's got two kids and a wife. He's trying to give his wife something. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple vacation. We, uh, we take those. That's that's fine. We're going to yeah, but don't you? Going. You can take. Maybe if they credited you, maybe you know, take further trips. Yeah, I mean, if someone felt what I gave was good, I mean, hey, <laughs> Look, look, you know, I mean, here's what I'm going to tell you. We, they, they we tease girls. because we've been in a, we've kind of been in a, in a secret war, if you will. <laughs> that was the, that was the, that was the last straw. I, I love you trying to talk in his language, a secret war, if you will. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to relate. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest with you, you know, we invited Brian on our show. He was my first celebrity interview. So I He's understand like, ah, I they know who we are. We talk all the time. I'm just happy to be in the conversation. More. <laughs> no, I just, mean, just, you know, just, can... when you see it, just just drop a link to our to our particular episode. That that's just how we do well, this. Well, you know, yeah. If I knew where the sub tweets, <laughs> sub tweets are. Go ahead and want to drop the links to a podcast or or the YouTube's. But here's what I'll say. Okay, so like, you know, it, it, it's like, you know, when I wrote to Brian about whether or not uh, Captain USA was an inspiration for um, the comedian, he said, you know what, next time I talk to Neil, I'll ask him. And, and I won't mention your name at all, Charlie, yes, sir. <laughs> no, he won't. But well, actually, you know, Brian's real good about mentioning names. Does he Brian mention your name ever? Good. He'll say... Charlie Esser. No, he's mentioned me several times. Yeah, but he doesn't say Charlie Esser of the the Capes and Lunatics podcast, as he knows. No, he doesn't because you know he doesn't. He doesn't want to draw. Because he loves you and he was willing to f me and Lilith. <laughs> I, no, I was just joking, but like that 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 was like the perfect transition. Yeah. I, <laughs> so, you. No, baby, but that's baby, I, don't saw, I saw my chance and I took it. Baby, baby, don't back down. Let your real self out. Come on, come on. <laughs> no. I, did, I saw an opening and I took it. You know, I, I went to the hole on principle. You know me. Oh, yeah. Yes. The legends are true. <laughs> you know. They have all this other stuff to do. I might be able to make a career out of it. But anyway. Oh, oh. oh hey, wait a minute. Lil, they did call it out on the cover. That's right. Black, white, and red all over. <laughs> Todd McFarlane might be a plagiarist. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the idea every the, comic book writer is a plagiarist to some degree. To be fair, every story has been told. Whether it's been told better or worse, that's up to you. Exactly. Every I'm theme has been to told. Me. Everything Batman has done. Every story of it humanly possible. I mean, he's been a ninja. 
Like a literal ninja in, in J- Japan feudal times. I hate that Again. movie. I will never watch that movie. Again. But he did it. Again, Mark Wade said Batman is the big, you know, the, the fictional character with the most amount of stories ever told. I, so. I surely would have thought it was Sherlock Holmes. Surely. But no, Batman. No. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Damn it, America. No, I mean, Batman is like weekly. It's, Mark. yeah. Oh, yeah. Since the 90s, he's been like weekly. Yeah. yeah Sherlock Holmes at best was like, you know. Quarterly publication. Like, been, it, 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 yeah. it was a he was a penny dreadful at most. You know? Batman's been around for over eighty years, and then since the nineties, he's been basically weekly. So yeah, yeah. And One way or another, they're gonna know, get you. Not for nothing, uh, Conan never expanded the universe, and you know that's what happens. You know, Yo, he could have like gotten a crew of people under him to expand that. No. I mean, you could have had like awesome Moriarty stories going since the 1800s but you know conan well I'm, for, for it's worth copyright laws weren't quite weren't quite as favorable thank you disney that was sarcasm <laughs> no actually now they're better for writers honestly no the 1800s no they were bad for writers <laughs> they were well just, everybody knows that's not how writers made their money they had a patron and they were best friends and that's how that worked well, yeah, but that limits the amount you can do when you when you infuse capital into the system. Then suddenly it's like, oh, here's here's fifty, 50 bucks. Write me a story about Moriarty. Hey, suddenly you have what? an expended uh, Doyle verse. And but no, but no interesting fact told to me by real professor uh, Chris. Sorry, Charlie. Uh, no, for for a while in the forties, Dick Grayson had more stories than like Bruce Wayne, and then so. Batman just took off. Yeah. Well, they were trying to appeal to the Dick kids. Is, oh yeah, is very popular. Um, well, he's better than Batman in every way. We all know this. Even the comic books told us that. Lilith is always telling me oh. how popular Dick is. Because he was raised by people that actually like did stuff for most of their life, so he was like three yeah. and was on the trapeze. <laughs> exactly. There are stories where he's like, I oh, learned yeah. to walk on a tight on a high wire. Yeah. Exactly. It's like, you know. Yeah, what were you doing, life. Bruce, with your golden, with your silver spoon in your mouth? Oh, wow. You spent 10 he years. He was shooting pheasant. Oh, wow. You spent 10 years. Because that is what a gentleman should do, is know how to kill a small bird. Lilith, he was boxing with Which that butler every day. when he fought the penguins, so there. It he... all comes for a circle. He was boxing with Alfred every day of his life. He was losing, too. <laughs> Alfred don't pull no punches. <laughs> So, uh, uh, another book? So, yeah, King Spawn. Is it my good. turn? Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to toss out Spawn. Pick up the Spawn universe, damn it. It's not too late to get in. Oh. I hey, old. I don't read Spawn. Um, Spider Punk. I saw the movies. They were okay. Spider Punk 2, man. I don't know about the this road. one. The band is going. Uh oh! I, I didn't read it yet. Why? Why? Somehow we have made. We, I said we have a Spider-Man podcast. I know. I said I didn't so read it yet. So here's what's fascinating. It's like, what if Josie and the Pussycats were Antifa? And it's 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 a beautiful idea. I love it in every conceivable way. Miss Marvel's in this, or you know. Um, uh, Why is Taskmaster there? That's what I want to know. Like, wait a minute. Because he's capitalism. He's like, dude, I just beat people <laughs> up for money. They have been double pushing him ever since that Black Widow movie, you know. Well, because he's awesome. Well, they can at least push a female version. Fancy man well, in the cape. Well, I mean, look at look at all the bros complaining about that in that movie. I mean, to be fair, I would love for them to do that more. I mean, that's what effectively And that's why it feels disingenuous. <laughs> well, well, why don't we do a whole team of Taskmasters? You can have a guy, you can have a no, guy, you know. there shall only be one Taskmaster! Whoa, dude! Dude, you need Taskmaster family. You need, like, a <gasps> bat family of Taskmasters. Lilith, it's like a little... Cats, that's Lilith, 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 like, Lilith, like a little Damian Wayne version. Oh, my God. <laughs> why, why would you put that into the atmosphere? You know, Deathstroke, but, son. No, honestly, that would be awesome. Don't, don't, don't. Respawn don't greater don't. than Damien. <laughs> Who knows? Damien might be Deathstroke, son, too. You never know. I'm telling you, Respawn is Shadow actually Wars Bruce's kid. Shadow Wars not over yet. 
<laughs> Don't oh, disappoint me, DC! Lilith, Lilith, maybe that's why in the fall we're getting Batman vs. Robin. We're, we're getting a Spider-Man. But I, I enjoyed this, though. This was good. I love this. Honestly. Do you like this better than your normal spider book, Charlie? I don't read any other spider books, so this He dropped it after that amazing one. Uh oh. Yes, spider book. This is the... This is the, this and, is the why are we pushing Norman Osborn all of a sudden in every single book? Like, keep your Norman out of my... Keep your Norman Osborn out of my... Keep the cornrows out of my stuff. Yeah, that is... No, that is he's taskmaster where all the S's are replaced with dollar signs. Because <laughs> that's yeah, pop, it, baby. You can do it. Mm, a um, book. Yeah. I mean, I love I love everything about this book. It is so silly. It is so much a Josie and the Pussycats book. But somehow punk it, it is like if Disney said, Hey, punk's making a lot of money, how can we make money off of punk? So let's make it a Spider Man punk. <laughs> make, it, make it a Spider Man book. And you can have Captain Anarchy. Hooray for Anarchy. Anarchy in the UK, so long as it doesn't interfere with the profit margin. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone loves anarchy, so long as it's marketable. Oh, there's um, some drops in there. <laughs> Everyone loves anarchy. Yeah, Phil, hurry up and read this. I mean, no, it's great. This. It is awesome. It is beautiful. And He's starting yeah. to be better than Miles, and I'm worried. I don't like this. <laughs> well, again, because Sony doesn't hey, have spider punks. So you can, you can, you Sony doesn't have worry. spider punks. This is it's a hobby. It's it's a hobby. Something. It, it, it's a it's a, a strategic marketing push. Hobie Brown. We say. Ho Hobie Brown. Hobie Brown. Hobie Brown. He's cool. At least Captain America is still white, so we can all rest. One assured. of them. Um. One of them. One of them. Oh, no, two Captain, of them. Sorry, I meant Captain Anarchy. Oh. Captain wow. Anarchy is still white. That makes sense. Historically, and, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Who else is going to want anarchy except the people at the top? Hey, -oh. the Just people, for poops and giggles. Even the most minor of restraints. And then let's have anarchy then! Spe speaking of on top, Lil, do you have another book? Oh, uh, let's see. I'll, I think we'll talk Catwoman, maybe? Ooh, me, wow. Did you read this? Catwoman. Of course, I read it. Um, Harley was actually bearable in this story, so... See, it's Plus you. points. Harley was bearable. Like I really don't like modern day Harley. She's very annoying. Um, but she's better when she's not written by her normal writers. Uh, obviously. <laughs> well, the, the current writer Stephanie Phillips is kind of better. But yeah, this was Catwoman's book, so it's Teeny Howard. So yeah, of course. Yeah. We get roller derby. So I'm gonna get Teeny Howard to have another job and write the Harley book, the next book that we get. <laughs> what is uh, it just, with just gonna throw that out there. But yeah, it's like a girls' night without. Poison Ivy, though, but whatever. Um, so oh, yeah, man. They even, it's okay. they even spoon. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I know. I was just like, um, I know Batman doesn't go down, but... <laughs> hey that, That's a hell of a cover. Wait, I, I hope they make a poster of this, actually. Not, not, not to be rude, but didn't Teen Titans go already do a roller derby episode? Yeah, I mean, they did. Cool. I know, because I watch Teen Titans go all the time, so... Yeah, I know, oh, yeah you'd know better but, than I would. But in one of the or one of the uh, previous Harley books, she was in the Roller Derby. So I mean, it's been yeah. in her backstory for a little bit. I can't. She's got to get that know. aggression out. You know, it's it's therapeutic. Fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, I, I was kind of bummed because I I liked the last road trip that they did. It was like Lois Lane, Harley, and Poison. It was a weird road trip, but I like when they do kind of like road trips. But this was like a girls' night out. And it was a quiet little story, so I, I kind of liked it. <laughs> oh, yeah. My art was really good, too, this issue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, if I'm... Catwoman without Batwoman. Well, without Batwoman. Without Batman is so much better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that ear break's going to be longer, yeah. Uh, well, let's, I... just, let's, just call, let's just call it and say, I don't even want to be with you, Bruce. Like... You're boring. <laughs> You're Whoa. boring. You're boring, and I want to steal stuff. Go away. <laughs> you know, look. If the power, Bruce we'll wanted on. something, he could have put a ring on it. He tried. He tried. No. He didn't try that hard. Yeah, he did. He did. For real. For real. For reals. I mean, Peter and Felicia got closer to the altar than they did. Let's let's be real. 
Whoa. And let's be real on the at the end of the day. Well, they're trying to make Batman bisexual, so they might make us hard, a hard right. Be like, nope, he's got to get married. He's got to have more kids. That was a fake out. (laughs) What I'm going to say is they could like just say, well, you know what? Okay, we're not going to get married, but why don't you stay at the mansion? This can be your home base. Just don't kill kill anybody in freaking Wayne Manor because I would really not have to cover Don't make Alfred spank you again. (laughs) (laughs) Don't make Alfred clean that up. The man is 142 and dead now. He's dead so, now. I'll be now. back. Have they hired a new butler? Just no, of course not. How oh, do you hire a new butler? Bruce Wayne only has Bruce one million dollars. Bruce Wayne Manor Nobody. now. He's a he's pig. Like, he's a he's spoiled, like, opulent he's, pig. He's okay. not kidding. He, he lost most of his money and he's pulling a Tony Stark now. He's in a brownstone. <laughs> okay. Wayne Manor is shuttered for the season. <laughs> Although, although every 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 so often some some. But the is. sidewalks are heated. I guarantee you, <laughs> he's not shoveling snow. That that was a Kazi reference. I do apologize. I'm <laughs> just asking. I'm just asking. Like, has Lex Luthor bought Wayne Manor yet? I he would never. Like, he could if Bruce just lost all his money. What does he have a need for anything in Gotham for? And who's watching us without saying hello? Rude. <laughs> Well, they let people watch just for the no fun. No lurkers! <laughs> Drop an F in the chat. Lurkers, no lurkers. Lurkers are fine. Hey, um, hey Lilith, I'm I'm surprised that you didn't bring up uh, X Men Red number two. You know I'm not reading that, right? I'm not reading any X Men Red. Books. The yeah. one with Storm. You're not reading that? I thought you read the first one. I did, and I just I'm gonna wait. Really? Yeah. I thought you were all about it. This one, like I was like, I wasn't feeling it. I'm, I'm gonna wait. All right, I'm gonna get you to read this within 24 X-Men. hours. All right, I'm gonna spoil one thing. You're gonna read this in 24 hours. She spanks Vol. She 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 she, she bitch slaps Vulcan Vulcan right into the third Summers brother. Storms Storm bitch slaps is around the third Summers brother. Love, come on. I don't know. It's still not compelling <laughs> enough. Oh. I don't know, like they are milking the X Men franchise. Left, right, and sideways. I, I, I don't want to support what, what You mean because there was only five X books this week? <laughs> Although, I think some of them were late, though, too. Uh, okay. I mean, and, again, so. and again, the two-part Deadpool story from Wolverine. Again, it was good. Because uh, okay. Benjamin Percy gets like the Deadpool dialogue down. I do, lo- I do love a Benjamin Percy story. I do. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know. But Wolverine, I absolutely immediately know from me. I have not read a Wolverine story in forever. <laughs> and, and and I just know it's setting up, you know, things to come because in New Mutants 25, we're already setting up, uh, oh, Madeline Pryor is about to become the new king of uh, Limbo or, or Queen of Limbo or whatever. Uh, is she going to bring Ben with her? Or? Uh, there's no mention of Ben Rowley here, but not. Again, I think this book was late, so. This might take place Can before be the big comic book day issue. I really think that Madeline has been done dirty. Of course. Well, well she well she even history. she even she even says to them in this issue. She goes, "Well, why does everyone give me crap? You know, meanwhile the guy who created me, you know, Mister Sinister, is like on the council. They're like, why do you trust yeah. Sinister, and not me? For yeah. freaking sake! Yeah, she For she calls it out. Yeah, sake. she's like, he, crea- he I created. I she has me. a I- vagina, bro. Come on, let's. Let's use our Eric, Rob. Yeah, you know, well to be fair, Krakow is male. Did she me. did she want did she want to be a secretary like Sue Storm? Like Again, Sue Storm uh, was uh-huh. never a secretary. I'm not evil, I was just created this way. <laughs> I was built this way. Yeah, I am I, I don't know. I, I'm not I, bad, I'm just drawn that way. I am always mad when they're being the freaking Madeline Pryor. Because, you know, the whole Madeline Pryor Goblin Queen reveal, that was just when I was starting to read. And that might be why I'm not into X-Men. It's like, you know, that was yeah, this that whole they were thing. Doing because, like, I got into X-Men after 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 uh, Marvel Girl came back in Fantastic Four. It's like, oh, well, I'll have to read X-Factor. It's like, oh, wait, but that's his wife and... Oh, See? this is not good. Yeah, oh, See, Lil, <laughs> See, Lil, if you say, why did we do this whole thing to the Avengers book, the Fantastic Four book, the Resurrect Jean Grey? 
it's like, why are you being so? Oh, mean you to poor this sucker! Girl? You fell for it, line and sinker. <laughs> I know. Burn, so, burn. Like, shouldn't everyone be like, "Oh man, burn. I'm sorry you had to go through that." And yeah, I'm sorry, Scott's an, a jerk. Listen, all the X Men, hey. almost all the X Men are narcissistic self They can't help it. Charles raises them. They can't help it. He's I evil mean, telepath. I'm be honest, but no, no, no. You know what? Here's what I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, Wolverine should have been like, "Wait, so you're a redhead?" Now there's two of them. Hey. Yeah, you're a redhead who. Looks like Jean Grey is is Jean Grey, but is I guess you not here. You were married to Scott, but now you're not. That's what I like. It's like maybe they can like okay, so Wolverine and freaking Madeline have a life, and then maybe everyone can be happy. There's was no so happiness weird. in the expos, Charlie. It was it was even weirder because after Scott leaves her, she starts dating his brother. Alex. Worst of all. Worst she went from all. one summer's that brother to weird. another. Well, at least she went to the superior uh, brother, ha- ha- Havoc. Havoc's Debatable. Than- Again, Lilith, it's a low bar. Yeah, but it, you know, yeah like, the bar is in hell in that case. Does he have <laughs> the power of, of Cytorak? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. No. That's what it is. He is, tapped in, he is, he is Cytorak's avatar on Earth. Yeah. Phil, I don't know how you can still read X Men. Like I'm so burnt out on it. I'm so burnt out. I don't know. I'm trying. I, I thought we were reversed with this Krakoa stuff. Meanwhile, it seems like we're still it, here. Yeah, like, it just seems like we're digging a hole deeper and deeper. And I'm like, next thing you know, we're gonna be saying Rogos <laughs> are. Like, on the upside, Tristan was asking about the new mutants film today. I'm sorry. Rush Why did he was asking Why about did he that, that movie where the superheroes fight Slenderman? So oh, like, oh, that's New Mutants. And then I had to explain to him how, you know, the Slender Man mythos comes from several other places, including Return to Oz. A Do classic. Your... Oh, that uh, is nightmare fuel. It Do is your... the best nightmare fuel. Do your son a favor. Tell him to read Venom Lethal Protector. <laughs> it's set in the 90s. <laughs> he can't relate uh, to that. He doesn't like the reading stuff. He likes to have his information provided to him. He again. likes a 3D virtual symbiote. Exactly. All this reading. <gasps> there you there's your there's your virtual game, Disney. You get you get the you get a symbiote. I mean they will in time. I'm just waiting on the Spider Man three D virtual experience, honestly. Oh yeah, I, see, yeah. It's one of those basic things where it's like, you know, eventually Eventually, Dilly, Disney will subsume Sony, and they'll be able to say, okay, now here's how you do it properly. Resistance is futile. You know? <laughs> Although, Chapex in charge now, so we don't know anymore. So, <laughs> that's the thing. It's like everything could go wrong at Disney tomorrow because Chapex. Well, sucks. yeah, Chapex sucks, yeah. Yeah, he's... he's, he's that, Roy as Disney. a stockholder, I can agree with you on that. <laughs> he is Roy Disney. Get him out of there! <laughs> You need a creative in charge of Disney. You need somebody with a backbone. Good. He's a slug. He should be in charge of Disney. Right. I will just say that. You know oh, what? I, Both I the bonds can go. I don't care. I worry oh, that oh, Feige oh. is too much into Marvel that he won't develop the rest of Disney. That's the only problem. With putting Feige in charge of Disney. So. No, they just need somebody with a backbone. That's all. Yeah. A backbone and common sense. No, 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 no. Chapek has a backbone. Chapek has a backbone. He's just a money person. He's just a money person. Money people and don't have a backbone, Charlie. They're they're no, they holding they to have the have highest bidder. Backbone when it comes to, to money. the highest that's bidder. The <laughs> that that's the thing is like money is 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 something you can build your backbone on. To the high, his, his thoughts are to the highest bidder. Yes, I will do that. <laughs> You can stack oh, your knots. And build Phil, spot. what the hell is Wayne Family Adventures? Like, what was that about? I don't Batman? know. I, I, yeah. I, I, I didn't do it. No, no. I was like, nobody cares about Wayne Family Adventures, bro. Nobody. There's there, there, there's just so much Batman stuff now. Stuff's gonna fall through the cracks, and it, you know, especially. I don't blame you. I, I just saw it on the shelf, and I'm or... like, Ugh. I mean. This is what we were saying. It's like it, Batman is, you know, it's it's a thing. It exists. 
He's like the Borg. Resistance is futile. Well, yeah, seriously. Know, it just, it's getting out of hand. Not, Somebody's no, got to have a talk with him. That, man. It's, it's that he makes money, so why not make more? Go ahead. But you have him. diminishing returns. Because here you have a book that is a Batman book that no one read. Batman. And so if no one read it, you didn't sell it, so it didn't make money. I know. It, it, oh, did you it's... tell Charlie about Earth Girl, uh, Earth Prime Star Girl? Oh, uh, no. We're. Yeah, okay, we thought you might like that, Charlie. I mean, it's entirely possible, but. It's, it's, it's based, based on. on I keep budgeting myself lately, so I'm trying to buy less comic books every week. Yeah, it's based on all the TV stuff. So, yeah, this one's based on the TV show, yeah. Okay, well, that's nice. It'll say, oh, it'll say Earth Prime Star Girl back. number four, so. In the fall. Yes. Yeah. I've a few more months. I mean, I, I, I. We'll remind you. Not for nothing. I, you, you, you have to have an emotional investment in this stuff to. Unless they're going to start the next season of Stargirl as. Boy, we had a lot of stuff happen off camera. But here we are now. Which they could do. They could open up the next season of Stargirl as like, boy, I guess you didn't read the collected trades, huh? Um, you know, no, but that's a good place. Arrow to did it, and books. they had books, so yeah. yeah. I mean, to be fair, you can do that. That's I mean, my point. You can do that. I, I mean, don't the know comic if book CW is going to do that. I mean, the comic book out this week. Yeah, they were on the family vacation. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's. You know, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. It's like DC stuff. I become a, uh, I am a dilettante of a fan. There's stuff that I will pick up and go, oh, isn't that lovely? Only but if it's I a won't... fine, if it's a fine ambush bug vintage. <laughs> Honestly, you put ambush bug in it. Yes, I'm going to pick it up. I'm not going to lie. I love ambush bug. He's awesome. Um, beyond that. You can do a house of mystery. I'll pick up a house of mystery. I mean, there's stuff in the DC universe I will buy. But, you know, Batman and Superman, I find them somewhat pedestrian. I'll be honest. Do what I want to do. World's Finest. Pick up World's Finest by Mark Waid. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I mean, I'd love to. I, you know, I, yeah, I, yeah. Because it's, it's, basically, it's basically it's basically like I a read silver. I Woman for a few months when it was done at Troy. Yeah, that was cool. But no, world's the new world's finest is good because Mark Wade's writing it almost like it's Silver Age. Like Batman isn't a jerk; he's actually like nice to Superman and stuff. Yeah. Although I don't know if that tracks. <laughs> Honestly, that makes Batman sense. is so damn jealous of Superman. Hashtag he's got a family. He was raised on a farm. He's loved. I'm just saying. Batman was loved. No, he wasn't. He was loved by Alfred. He was loved by his own family. <laughs> Definitely not by uh, Alfred. <laughs> well, I don't know what Alfred you knew, but I don't know. But I, I'd say Aunt Harriet loved him, but she was actually uh, 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 Dick's knee, uh, aunt, so. And she hasn't been in continuity since the 70s. <laughs> I know, honestly. They need, they need a better Wayne family tree where Crisis someone actually was... everybody's crazy the Keens and the Waynes are crazy so it's the Gotham water I tell you the kid hey man well, probably it probably was made in the hey. 1800s it was full of lead so hey. yeah hey the regular probably coins... everyone in Gotham is suffering from massive lead poisoning and you know in the regular continuity it's, it's all in the regular continuity, it's almost as bad as inbreeding because Thomas Wayne uh, married Martha Kane, you know, rhyming last name. So it's almost as bad as inbreeding. Come on. I mean, I don't know. Are we sure they weren't first cousins as rich people back then were want to do? I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. It's entirely probable. It's entirely Goth probable. Gotham, West Virginia. Honestly, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. West Virginia is not that far from New Jersey, so... That is not as Charlie broad of a, as you as you Midwesterners might think. That's actually like yeah, it's actually. I'm in close. Florida. <laughs> I have hills. I'm not in the Midwest. Thank you very much. <laughs> the hills uh, have eyes. Damn it. Okay, so uh, 
outside of the so central weird. east eastern seaboard question. I don't know how you call it anymore, but yeah. The tri-state area? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, the, outside of the tri-state area. Which you can make to the five-state area or this, uh, you know, you, you can expand it out. And yes, Pennsylvania will occur within that film, though you are in Pittsburgh. So that's the only <gasps> You got it right! Yay! <laughs> I know you're in the Pittsburgh. You said in Philadelphia Pittsburgh. one day. How dare you? A couple of times. <laughs> Probably once or twice. Because it's like, who wants to live in Pittsburgh? I'm it's the closest one. <laughs> it's Spark with just, Hold on. Just... <laughs> oh, Anywho, uh, we still uh, talking comic books? I don't no, know. I know you guys fine? have a whole other show to do, so. We don't know, about... so. I mean, it's weird. 120, so. I, mean... I know. Who do you think what? you are? Rob Southgate, Philip? <laughs> I know, and I know so much more than you know. Mark my words. I'm sure you do, Phil. I've always said no. That that's true. That's Rob with. Southgate. Okay, and I know so much more. But we'll see, see if Phil actually has. See, I, I see. Problem. I'm not going to work on oh. my Gotham in uh, pronunciation. I'm going to work on my Rob Southgate impression. He is the now, third best Southgate. Now that you work for me, Robert. <laughs> uh. All right. Yes, because yeah, because we got to talk Illuminati on uh, Avengers. Woohoo! Uh, Have fun with that. And new issues, Thor, and uh, what else was there? Uh, Love and Thunder. Uh, oh no, Sa Marvels of Savage, Savage Avengers. Avengers. Savage Avengers number one. Oh. We'll see how long that lasts. Got Fantastic Four. Do you want to talk oh yeah, about we can talk there. She Hulk's in there. Yeah, we can talk that. <laughs> go ahead, throw it in. Great. I'm sorry. What now? I said, go ahead, throw it in. She Hulk's in there. Go ahead, throw it in. Yeah, She Hulk's in it, man. Good thing about the Avengers. Everyone's in the Avengers, man. Everybody's been in the Avengers. Thank you, Bendis. They either were in the Avengers or they will be in the Avengers. Uh, no, who, that who, predates that predates Bendis like by Oh, he he years. took he took it to all with the money grabbing glory with it. he put Spider Man no, and Wolverine man. on the same team. Uh yeah, no. Well, no, I'm done gonna tell before. You. I'm gonna tell you, there was a, there was a. Oh, I meant the Fantastic if, Four. Whatever. Yes. What if everyone who was ever on the Avengers stayed on the Avengers, and it was literally Avengers every Ultimate. Marvel comics character, An army. including Moon Knight, was on there. Hey man, he he got smart in the '90s. He burned his card. <laughs> the only guy who what the only people who weren't on there was probably the Fantastic Four. But everybody else in the Marvel Universe was on the team. Because everyone oh, no. had been on that team at some point. Reed and, Reed and Sue were in there. Come on. For like, no, like no, this was before issues. this, though. Yeah, yeah, That yeah. was later. That happened later. But prior to that, everybody else was on the Avengers. I know. I'm just saying. that That's actually the easiest way to introduce a character to make him a member of the Avengers. Exactly. All right, kids. So, send us your thoughts on uh, Daredevil show, Star Trek: Strange New Worlds. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll talk in the two sixty nine. I even I don't know. Uh, new even comics. I don't know. Oh wait, wait. Another thing I got. I should probably save it for the devil, you know. But oh wait, what? That's Electra. Why does it say X Men up there? I don't know. They didn't know. But it's Electra. That's how you. That's how you sold toys in the nineties. Put X Men on it. The booty calls of Wolverine. <laughs> Light up weapon, baby. Batteries included. Wow. They don't make them like that anymore. No, no, no! Don't put that on camera, Lil. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> no, I'm Hello. just saying. You know, <laughs> Electra would kill most of the X Men because that's her thing. Oh my! She definitely. Fortunately, they all come right back because it's Krakoa now. <laughs> I know. Did, are the X Men lazy? Who became Rock? Are the X Men lazy now? Because they're like clearly very, very mentally, uh, mentally issues. Are the X Men getting lazy? Because they're just like, oh, we can die, and they'll just bring us back. Yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, Phil, come on, you got to hold on the show. Wolverine. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm Wolverine, sorry. Let's just run right into the into the attack now. Oh, I said he's been lazy. Go yes. Yeah. All right, I know Lilith is sober. Okay, sorry, right, kids. We got to get a, a bandit ship. Lilith is sober. Well, thank goodness one of us is. 
All right, kids. So, yeah, send your thoughts. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, you can always uh, find Capes and Lunatics on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Find links to all the social medias, all the Facebook fan groups, uh, even that High Love Scum and Billity, the third best Southgate show. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Everything we do gets a uh, video, so hit smash that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Smash, smash it. it! And please subscribe to the Patreon because, again, we're paying for this out of our own pocket. Uh, so every little bit helps. The three to five dollars gets you early access to creator interviews. Mister DG Chichester every month. I got the good mic out for you guys. And superhero movie brackets. We will find the worst superhero movie of all time. Uh, the even May episode. If you even if it kills Phil, and it will. That's right, because Loth demanded his soul, his pain. Uh, so yes, the May episode will be Batman Forever versus Batman and Robin. Charlie Esser got it right on the last episode of Full Stream Ahead. Good job. All right, and, and pick yourself up some capes and lunatics and capes and lunatics, sidekicks merch, be a cool kid like Charlie Esser. I know he, we faces. all have merch, kid. One of us. All right, so find everything at linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash capes and lunatics. <sighs> Little Hellfire. Where can um, the fans if you guys want to hang off me on the interwebs, you can find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire, on Instagram at Lilith Hellfire 69, and of course on TikTok making comments, not content, at Lilith Hellfire 69. Either do the six or do the nine. No, you do them yeah. both, silly. Let me get a ride on your alligator back, bro. Somebody's muffins getting buttered. That ain't my business. Charlie, yes, sir. Well, if you want to write to me in an old fashioned email way, where our mothers and fathers once did. Do so at superconnectivityblog at gmail.com. That's superconnectivityblog, all one word, at gmail.com. Of course, follow me on the Twitter as I tweet things, which I very rarely do, at Charlie Esser. That's C H A R L I E. E S S E R. Look for the two E's in the middle. The quality. Bing. Thank you, Moz. Yay, Moz. Moz is the best of us all. True that, true that. Sweet, sweet summer child. All right, kids. Unless you're Thank talking you. about Dr. Strange. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. He wants to burn that down. Oh, I heard last full stream ahead. He's like, can you add that to the worst superhero movie bracket? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd like to, but the brackets have been set. Maybe we do this again next year. I know. And, I heard you. Know, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I think he doesn't understand the level of bad films that are out there. Oh, no, I know. Tell him the you didn't even make the cut. Like I know. All right. Yeah, I mean, For another week, we've been your capes. Episand. Lunatics. Ah. Uh, I like one, one of those weeks. Should have just told him Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness was a little person. Good night! <laughs> <laughs>